Hello and welcome to part two of creating this ball joint using FreeCAD. So I'm going to jump straight back into it and I'm going to show you how to create the pocket on the inside. So what I want to do is now, number one, I want to change the appearance to about 50-60%. I'm then going to create a datum plane on the bottom face and I'm going to move that up 150. And I'm going to go up flip side so it moved it up. I'll say OK to that one. Click on the date and plane, click sketch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating some geometry. So I'm going to click on the polyline, I'm going to click and then click down to the center line, move it along, click again, and click up. I'm going to right click to deselect the line and right click again. And then I'm going to click on the arc icon, click on this side, click on the other side, and I'm going to move that arc like so. I'm going to start constraining. So I'm going to constrain this radius to 80. I can actually click on it. There we go. I'm going to click on the center of the arc. I'm going to click on the center of our geometry, so the uh, origin point. Click on this icon here so that it centers it up. And then I'm going to constrain the horizontal, the horizontal to 140, and I'm going to put that in the center to 70 mil, like so. So that's now fully constrained. I'm going to close that. I'm going to hide the date on plane. So what I need to do is now is create a groove. So I'm going to click on the sketch. I'm going to click on the groove icon, and then I'm going to set the drop down to horizontal sketch axis. Now as you can see, it sort of does a 360, and we want to change that to 180. And we're going to click OK to that. So now as you can see, what we've got is we've got this sort of random in internal shape as it is. So I'm going to do is I'm going to angle this, click on this face which is on the inside, and I'm going to click pocket and through all. OK. Now if I just set this appearance back down again, as you can see we have now created the inside pocket, like so. Now that we've created the pocket on the inside, we're now going to reselect our datum plane and make it reappear. We're going to click on that, click sketch, click on the circle geometry and click on the center point. I'm then going to constrain that so that it is 85 diameter, so 85 divided by 2, and we're now going to close that and we're going to pocket that through our geometry. So I'm going to set this to 105, hide that date and plane again, and I'm going to click OK. I'm then going to click at the bottom of the pocket, click sketch, create another circle geometry, and I'm going to constrain that so that it's 32. I'm going to close that and pocket that all the way through, so through all. OK. So now what we need to do is we need to create some geometry on the back face. So I'm going to click on the back face, sketch, circle geometry 1, and circle geometry 2. Once we constrain these, so we're going to have 60, and for this one we're going to have 150 divided by 2. So what we've got there is 76 radius and 60 radius. Close that. I'm going to extrude that by 6 mil. So now we're going to create some holes that are going to go through these faces on either side of the actual joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. YZ plane. OK. I'm going to go back over to model. I'm going to change the appearance of the body to about 50%. I'm then going to click the circle geometry. I'm going to kind of constrain that to which is going to be 11 radius. I'm then going to constrain on the hot vertical like so, 150. And then I'm going to go back to tasks and close that. Pocket, two dimensions. I'm going to set that to 100 just so that it goes through both sides. And OK. I'm then going to click on this face, this inside face, click on sketch, and I'm going to create again circle geometry roughly in the center, and I'm going to constrain the radius of that to 49 diameter, which is 24.5 radius, and then I constrain from the center 150mm. Close that, pocket, and that pocket there is actually going to be 3mm. 
Now what we can do is we can do it now or we can do it later, but I'll say we'll mirror that. Pocket 005, okay. On the center plane, and we're gonna click okay. So now it should be mirrored on the opposite side. I'm now gonna create a datum plane from this face here. So I'm gonna click on the face, click datum, and I'm gonna move that out in the Z by 18. So it's gonna be minus, so we're gonna flip side that should look a little bit like that. Click OK. I'm going to click on the datum plane, click sketch. I'm going to create again a circle geometry on the center line. Constrain this so that it is 56 diameter, 5 by 2, 18. And then we're going to go into constrain the vertical again by 150. Close that, hide the datum plane, and we're then going to pocket that except we're going to reverse that so that it's coming out rather than in. And again, through all. Okay to that. And we're then going to create another mirror plane. Pocket 006, okay. And on the center line, okay. So now we're gonna change the appearance back down to zero. Furthermore, we need to counterbore these holes on this face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the Base profile, click sketch, and on this horizontal line here, I'm going to create a circular geometry. I'm going to make it 140 from the center, and then we're going to make the size of that hole 22 diameter. So I'm going to click on that 11 radius, and I'm going to click close. I'm going to pocket that down by about 5 mil, which is what we set to, which is what we're going to say OK. And I'm going to create a polar pattern. So I'm going to click on the pocket, click OK. I'm going to set the occurrences to 6. And it's already selected the z-axis for me, so I'm going to say OK. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to create the pockets on the other side. So I'm going to click on the bottom side, click Sketch, and do pretty much a repeat of what we've just done. So I'm going to click on the center line, the horizontal line, create some geometry, and I'm going to set that to 35 diameter, which is 17.5 radius. Again, we're going to make the um, overall radius of this 140 out from the center. Click close, and I'm going to, again, use the pocket tool to push that in by about two mil and then create a polar pattern around the center. Occurrence is to six, and again, it's already on the z-axis, so we're gonna click OK. And the final touch to this is to just add a slight chamfer on this edge here, which is gonna be 1.5, okay? So what you can do is just go around and add a 0.3 chamfer, just around all these edges if you'd like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this top face, click chamfer, 0.3 and I'm just going to go around and start adding reference points. So I'm going to add the reference points to the inside of all of these pockets or the insides of these holes, sorry. And what that should do is, is then go go through and chamfer the opposite side of the actual hole as well. Like so. Just add that last one there. I'm going to flip it over and as you can see as I said it's chamfered the other side as well. Add reference side here and that's going to chamfer around the outside and the pockets. I'm going to add the reference of these two points here, flip it around, add the reference on the face. What we can actually do is remove this bottom line reference, oh. remove that bottom line reference and just add the face and that should chamfer both. I can't actually chamfer this hole here, um, this pocket. If I try it just sort of it accepts it but it doesn't actually chamfer anything. So I'll remove that. I'm then going to chamfer the insides here, like so. And same on this side. Outside pockets. And then the overall shape around the outside. So I'm just going to click on this here, this line, and it's going to go all the way around. It's going to do all of this. And then there's just three lines to click, which is this line, this line, 
or any of these lines along here, and then these two lines, so sorry, four lines all overall, which is on either side. Okay, and there we have it. We have our ball joint, our completed ball joint. So thank you very much for watching this two-part series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And uh, if, you, if there's anything you think of that I could improve on these videos, then please leave it in a comment in the comments down below. Um, and subscribe if you want more. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.